Visionaries, political savants, insights from those who move markets. The NIC Fall Conference arms you with the inspiration you need to see the future of your business. Hi, I'm Renee Stoll. We're facing a rapidly changing market and an uncertain political environment. That's why this fall conference has experts lined up to help you sort through it all. Understanding and making sense of weak signals is a crucial component of success in any setting, be it economic or political. Former HHS Secretary and Utah Governor Mike Levitt talked to hundreds of attendees during the opening wow. general session. Levitt's focus was on paying attention to the signals in seniors' health care that show historical change in the delivery and payment model. The governor called the transition from a fee-for-service payment to value payment the most significant change in recent U.S. history. So we're going to what's known as a value payment, which is to say we're going to reward those who provide the highest quality care at the lowest cost and it, it's also uh, part of a system where populations will be cared for uh, in a way that rewards those who can keep a population healthy and that of course again affects the senior housing market. Influential speakers like Governor Levitt really get the conversation going in the networking spaces. With record-breaking attendance again this year, you're sure to be people who will help your business and career. That was huge and very beneficial for me as an operator. Um, you get in a room like this with so many multiple experts, you can only take in knowledge. Not only is there a great network of people, but there's just an overflow of information everybody is willing to share. Um, so someone who is relatively new in the industry, um, I think it's the place to be. It's a great uh, location for cross-pollination of ideas. I think what was most helpful was the, uh, the, the summary materials that they provided, you know, getting this key set of data and industry benchmarks in one place at one time. If you want to know what deals are happening right now, this is where you come in the senior housing community. This is the end all be all conference. This is my fifth year attending NIC and what keeps me coming back are the people. It's a great community uh, for the senior housing businesses. I'm an owner operator. Also, I'm a partner at a law firm and I represent senior housing facilities, owners, operators, buyers. So um, it's just a great meeting opportunity. Thought-provoking and inspirational, those are the words to describe today's Nick Talks centering on the future of aging. Billie Jean King took to the stage to share her perspective. She's an American tennis icon, humanitarian, and Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient. Now she's talking about what's important as we live longer, relationships, learning, and problem solving. Next in Nick Talks, this speaker says, ready or not, an age wave is coming that could break our nation. That's why Dr. Ken Dykewald is pushing to move the age and longevity issue to the political main stage. Dykewald says disease and elder poverty are just some of the issues that need to be on the political radar. Finally, a disruptive question. What happens if humans become immortal? Tom Lee says it's possible that some people on Earth today could live for 1,000 years. He says advances in biology and DNA repair make this a possibility. These Nick Talks really are worth watching in full, and NIC makes this possible. If you're here at the conference, the replay is available at the Marriott Marquis and the Renaissance Hotels. If you're watching online, the talks will be available soon on nic.org slash events. The upcoming election will no doubt have a ripple effect in seniors' housing and care. Expect the unexpected has become the theme of this year's presidential election. With policy changes on the horizon and so much at stake in the seniors' housing and care industry, attendees at today's luncheon join the political debate. E.J. Dion, columnist for The Washington Post, and David Brooks with The New York Times discussed the candidates, control of the House and Senate, and how the future may look with regards to entitlement programs, tax policy, and health care, including the Affordable Care Act already in place. So I don't think it's going away, but I just think it's a smaller thing than we thought it was when we were debating it. And so the exchanges are suffering from an adverse selection problem where the, the younger and the healthier people are just not signing up cause, just because it doesn't make sense for them to. And I don't think that's going to change. And, and they're not being punished. They're they not being punished. They're not being subsidized enough. Yeah. So it, it's, yeah. just, it's just not going to happen. And so ACA will look a lot more like an expanded Medicaid with limited plans for lower costs. 
I'm actually somewhat optimistic on the Affordable Care Act um, that it, because if, uh, if Hillary Clinton wins, there is the realization that this is not going to be repealed. Um, the Affordable Care Act uh, has uh, done what it was supposed to do. If you look at the states, again, this new census report, if you look at the states that fully adopted it with the Medicaid expansion, uh, the uninsured percentage is down to 7%. I mean, we are almost there to solve the problem of the uninsured. The NIC Fall Conference doesn't only exercise the mind, but the body, too. Our annual 5K Fun Run is a great way to start the day. Attendees participated at their own pace and made some connections along the way. Other attendees track their steps by day, all to win a prize. The NICMAP Daily Step Showdown awarded an Apple Watch and other prizes to those who logged the most steps. With the new NIC data on skilled nursing just released, the session on the ever-changing world of skilled nursing drew a crowd. Panelists discussed the shift from volume to value in skilled nursing care, calling value-based care no longer voluntary. Operators are having to adjust their focus because reimbursement is tied to value and quality through alternative payment methods. Additionally, investors can no longer base risk assessment on an entity's past performance, but look to how the entity can keep up with changes in payment reform. I think that our care delivery is really going to have to make some revisions. We've got NPs that are 24-7 uh, medical management models that are now uh, present in order to prevent the rehospitalization. Uh, quite frankly, over the 40 years I've been in business, it's been um, rather exhilarating. Um, unfortunately, there's been a barrage that's been much heavier in the last couple years than it was 10 years ago. But I, I think it's really forced us to make really some valuable changes. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I, I do believe, and I've shared, I, I think there's going to be some consolidation for those that don't have the capital to actually perform. Hold on to your market share by playing defense. These jersey-clad panelists shared their tactics with attendees. Reputation, differentiation, market segmentation, and product position all play a big part. But one panelist says company culture is essential too. I think it's all of our responsibility to create, you know, zealous ambassadors of the way that we do things in each of our organizations so that they develop strong, they have a strong personal attachment to our companies um, so that they develop deep relationships with our residents. If you have a strong culture, a company can retain the best talent, hold on to residents, and make them defend you when approached by the competition. The 2016 Fall Conference has a record-breaking attendance, and this amazing event is only possible when you're here. So thanks for coming, and thank you for watching. I'm Renee Stoll with NIC TV. Been coming here for 10 years. This is the one conference you can come to and see everybody in one spot. We're talking today about some potential deals that. Uh, we usually always find at least one deal here, so it's uh, it's very positive. It provides you a lot of insight into you know how others are viewing the changes within the industry. I mean, I think one of the great things about our industry is it's incredibly dynamic.